All right, we are back. Had some technical difficulties. Uh, basically, uh, we left the abandoned shack in the last one, came to solitude. All I did was pick some herbs. Uh, I'm in the catacombs now in solitude. We will pick off where I left off. So I just ran from the abandoned shack to solitude, picked up some herbs, saw the execution. I think I cooked. Did I get to cook something? Okay, I cooked up all my stuff here. So now I'm in the catacombs. And uh, I'm just going to start from here because I really don't want to do all that. So in the catacombs, there's only three skeletons we have to worry about here. There's one. We came here to go ahead and get the all this hanging moss you see everywhere. And uh, yeah. And what sucked is I like did this whole video, we got all of it together, and uh, here's the next one. As soon as I left the building, it kind of crapped out on me, so you know, that's Skyrim for you. Okay, that's the third one. So, did I sell my stuff? Okay, I did. So we've got 20 pounds or say. So what I like to do in here, I'll start on one side just kind of work my way around get all this hanging moss should come away with about 90 and I'm gonna save it again before I leave this place I mean it might crash again it might not we will have to see so we got a couple of different things we're gonna do here we'll get our all this hanging moss it makes a really good uh, power potion we're gonna use to uh, level up our speech we're gonna level it up to 50 we still have our purchase training rights for this level too so that's why I'm really trying not to level up because if I do that's gonna screw everything up just like I've done in the past and we're right on the cusp of leveling up here so we'll get all this hanging moss make a bunch of alchemy potions in turn, we will take those alchemy potions and sell them to the people in the College of Winterhold, buy all their soul gems. After we make a few couple more stops, I still got I did the Dark Brotherhood quest, so we still got to go to Falkreef and get our uh, armor. They have a really nice uh, archery helmet that I kind of enjoy using. That'll help out. I wonder, I, I'm not sure if you can disenchant that helmet. Um, I guess I'll have to try. I don't know if you can though. Cause if I can get that archer gear, that's gonna help us uh, a lot with uh, killing things. I mean, in the last video, I was trying to take out that plunder and I w it wasn't gonna happen. I actually had to wait for an ice wraith to come and help me and then run away like a girl from the ice wraith because that will instantly one shot me. I, I don't know if run is the right word. I think like uh, barely skimmer off. Is, I barely made it. You know, it was it was a disaster actually. And it was all just to see Astrid. And then we slept in the abandoned house, you know, started from here. I went outside, I got some fresh air. I actually saw Vilkus on the way, he had killed a saber tooth. Okay, we went around this side, so now we got the whole perimeter of this place, I think. It's kind of hard to tell with these things. Now we're going to get the inside over here. And we're going to come away with a lot. Okay, let's go this way. Go around the inside of this thing. It's a great place to find these herbs. The hanging moss. And even though all these are say it's stolen. Um, <clears throat> I, I've never, there's never been any hired thugs or anything that came after me. In my recollection at least. I mean we have yet to see hired thugs in this whole game so far. But I don't think I went stealing all kinds of stuff, but I don't know. 
Okay, we got that side, so we're, we're going to work on this side. I'm pretty sure we already got, yeah, we already got all the perimeters, so now it's just the interior ones we're going to need. Alright. And I think that's about it. All of the dead. Alright, looks like we're all good here. Let's see how many we came out with. Um, Hanging Moss, 86. It's pretty nice. Alright, now hopefully this game doesn't crash. Good. 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 So now we're going to have to shoot back on over to White Run. That's kind of where my home base is. Um, <clears throat> the catacombs is really easy to find. I mean, after I ransacked all of the herbs from all of Solitude, I kind of just went in there to grab the rest of the hanging moss. And as you can see, oh, missed some herbs here. As you can see, I mean, it's pretty easy to get here. It's just right in there. There's three skeletons, simple stuff. See how these herbs are gone? Because I just took all of them. So, pretty self-explanatory there. Let's see how much uh, room I have. See, I've only got two more pounds of stuff. Like, I really need to drop all this stuff off. Pardon me. No, pardon you. Oh, yeah, yeah, pardon you. Yeah, good. Um, Unless we have specific business. No, no, I'm leaving. I don't like you people in this town. It took me forever to find somewhere to cook. What's this? Oh, a potion just sitting there. I'll take it. Alright. So we missed the execution too. I came in through the back door. Back door is found kind of on. Don't crash. Good. It's kind of found on the lower, uh, across the river. I kind of just like went in a straight dash from the abandoned shack to solitude. And, uh, kind of how it worked. Uh, let's do a, I did a hard save from the shack, but let's do another hard save just in case this thing crashes on us. And I haven't had any crashes this whole time. So that was pretty unusual. So now off to White Run. We got plenty of food still. Get some butterflies. No, I'm really running out of room here. And these people always have a cooking pot too. Okay, I'm hungry again, so let's go ahead and eat some of this tasty goat. Eat the goat first, because that stuff just it weighs a pound. It's insane. Still have yet to find my horse. He went kind of AWOL. But once you like fast travel somewhere, your horse comes back you to you. Ride? I do. Right after I get this lavender. I can take you to any of the where do you want to go? I want to go to White Run, my good Climb man. And back and we'll be off. Sounds good. You have you best hurry it up. Hurry it up. We ain't got all day here. You ever met one of them cats? I did. I kind of murdered her cat. <clears throat> but he had an executioner's hood. <clears throat> Execution style. I didn't want to do it. But the other, the lady had kids, you know, and the other dude was scared. Okay. Chilly, drained, and hungry. Gotta love survival. There's my horse. I went AWOL. If I could sell you back, I would. Okay? You're dead to me, horse. Until I need you to get some more venison.
you know, we need to get ourselves a proper home. I've been saying that for 20 episodes now, and uh, still has yet to happen. A proper home. Which will be Fall Creek, but I am going to need a couple of different things to make that happen. Money being one of them. Let's get on our... Uh, take off that stuff. Bump into this car. Oh, tried to. Who's this guy? What's the hurry? Got a lot of stuff I'm trying to do, pal. Recording here. I'm not looking for a challenge. Eventually, someday, I will take you up on that challenge. That guy is just glitched right at the front door. A he's gonna bother me. Oh, now he's over here. Great. Take nope, no need to send anybody over. All right, this is where all of my yeah. Okay, this stuff I think is weighing me down. It has to be. Put the ore there. We are gonna make a bunch of stuff with this stuff here. Okay. Search the end table. I've got all this stuff. There is my wooden axe I can use for. Um, okay, there. There's the other thing. Thirty points. Okay, I need to make with this axe. I need to make a uh, campfire. So let's just go ahead and take that. We'll put our execution hood in there. The gloves. That's kind of my stuff right there. Keep all our food here. Oh yeah, and the books. Trying to start my collection here. Okay. Now let's drop off all of our ingredients here. And then we'll regroup. See where we're going from there. A lot of, a lot of stuff. I hope nothing like kind of disappeared from this. I always wondered that too. Um, we'll drop all those. Let's see how much we can. I mean, I got so much weight. All right, 102. So let's just make sure here. It's this freaking great sword but that's what I've been using I'm, I'm not gonna have it once I can kill a deer with one hit whatever that may happen <clears throat> I won't need to carry that anymore I guess I could just use a, a one-handed weapon too but it's cool you know it's kind of cool doing the other thing okay keep all those this way nothing yeah, so 110 pounds, 102 pounds. So let's go ahead and eat here. Yeah, still got plenty of food. Plenty of food. Oh, I'm still hungry too. Let's go ahead and eat another goat. Nice. Okay. So let's see, it's 11 p.m. I haven't used up my purchase training rights for this level and it's imperative that we go back without leveling up. Yeah, so we're going to go to sleep. <clears throat> sleep the whole eight hours. Get nice and rested. We're going to take all our herbs over to Windhelm. And from Windhelm, from Windhelm, we are going to do our our alchemy. We 
with the woodcutter's axe. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that real quick. Let's just do that real quick. We need to make our campfire. That way we always have it. If we ever get held up again or... Let's see, I'll take a couple of goat hides. Okay. I always like having that campfire. That's, I think that's a nice little added bonus they did to survival too. Like you need to be able to camp, you know? I didn't ask. Do you have butter? Is it not time for you to show up to work? Aren't you a working girl? Okay. I think it takes six wood. Might take three. It might take six. I think it takes three. But either way, we're going to have to do a couple of chops here. This is my favorite animation. I mean, he's working hard. Look at him working. Yeah, get it. Oh. That's actually fun to do. I mean, I live in the south, so I've only really done it once or twice. But there's something thrilling about chopping wood like that and getting it to cut in half in one swing. Um, oh yeah, we need leather. I think it takes three firewood and a leather, if I'm not mistaken. Just two goat hides. And, uh, excuse me, Adriana. I don't claim to be the best no, no, didn't want to talk to you. I'm sure. Camping supplies. This thing weighs nine. So it's gonna, you know... It's gonna be some weight on us, but hey, you know... I mean, it's, it's a life or death situation. And I always carry it. All the time. I mean, you don't get your full resting bonus. I don't even think it, like, when you sleep outside, you, you wake up tired. I think that's how it works, at least from what I remember. Like, I haven't played it in a while, so I really can't remember. Let's just put the tick axe away. I won't need that either. How did I go to 104? Oh, because I got the wood. Yeah, that 15 pounds of firewood there. Um, let's put the firewood in here. Take the gold. So that's nice. That gives you a fire. I think you can pick it up. I could be wrong about that. You might not be able to pick it up, actually. So we're going to get situated here. We are going to uh, grab all our herbs. I'm going to make a whole list of herbs that we're going to need. We're going to bust our uh, skill level up to 50. That will give us the merchant perk, I believe. Speech. Yes, sell any type of item to any kind of merchant. That's going to make a big difference. And with that, we're going to be able to level up smithing, alchemy, enchanting. So we're probably going to shoot up like four or five levels here. But um, until that happens, we will see you next time in the land of the Skyrim. Thank you for watching. Like if you like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.